Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Sevtech. So we're going to check our book here today and we're going to try to do a few things. There's the, the strainer I want to do, um, there is the uh, leather I want to do, uh, might as well look into uh, doing some of this as well here, um, the hoppers, etc. But uh, I did get something a little outside of this. I don't think it's really needed yet or maybe you don't even get a quest for it, but I noticed there was, when I typed in craft, an MK2 version of this. Now the downside is I didn't have the material for it, so I went for a bit of a walk. You needed a dark oak wood, uh, eucalyptus or whatever, or the Sakura wood. So I actually found some of the uh, Eptolipus, Eptu, I can't talk today. Uh, <laughs> uh, this way actually, right this way. So I went down here, went across the river. It was just around here. There was a lot of wolves as well, so uh, I, I killed poor wolves quite a bit, and so I thought it might be uh, useful to uh, work on that part as well. So uh, I assume that's all for that recipe. So we got a stone somewhere. There it is. There you go. And so I made myself some new pants, and I got some other pieces of armor over time. Uh, but uh, yeah, I thought, hey, why not, right? Uh, put some use to the that armor. Oh, crap, I made pants again. You know what I tried to make there? I was trying to make the top and then I kind of derped up there. But anyways, whatever. Uh, it is what it is. So I want to make this uh, this crafting too because this one lets you do stra uh, uh, stack crafting. So that's kind of important, of course. So that uh, was something we wanted for a bit. Now you needed to make, this is something new for us, but you needed to make a shelf unit, which is uh, simple as you saw recipe wise and I think it's the same idea it's just that it's upward so one two yeah oh four wait can you do four in these wait a minute so they're better huh they store more items interesting okay so to make those uh, we'll show you here again did my axe just break? It shouldn't have broken, unfortunately, but it just, uh, I think my axe just broke. Oh, I'm an idiot, of course. There you go. Do it from its side. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that shelf again was just, uh, planks and rock. Uh, so that is interesting. I'm going to probably make some of those later on because that, that to me is invaluable, really. Uh, especially since we'll have this thing here in a second, uh, which will make uh, the crafting a little easier of stuff like that in large quantities. Hell, we can do it this episode without, you know, breaking too much of a sweat, thankfully. And then if this works, there you go. We got this crafting table, which the the whole uh, beauty about this one is, let's break this one. So this, if we're going to use this one a little, oh, look at, it's got a little tiny bit on the bottom for your rock. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the best thing I've seen so for your little rug is got a little bed for it really oh my goodness <laughs> sorry I had to quickly take a picture there that is that is ridiculously cute and awesome okay so there you have it uh, that is pretty cute uh, so let's go ahead and grab some of these guys here and now I might have used uh, I thought I had a ton of these but maybe I used them recently Damn, I guess I did use them recently. But they weren't for torches. What did I use them on? I'm trying to think what I had recently used all my uh, plant fiber on. I know I made something in a large amount, but I forgot what it was now. Uh, I placed some torches around. I, I think I told you that we're going to do that over time. Uh, not a lot, just a few here and there. Unfortunately, it's raining, so you're going to get some nasty mobs around. We're just going to plant some plant fibers. Oh, keep in mind, these tend to grow when it rains. 
I think they because they're dry, but when it rains, they they water them and the farmland, and they start growing again. But uh, I'm not quite sure on the science on that. But they seem to grow more when it rains. So if only grow then. Uh, okay, so we're gonna put these guys up here, and there you go. Now I'm not quite sure where I spent the other amount of those, but uh, I guess I did spend them. So there you go. So what we can do now, for example, is put these guys in here and uh, you can just click them. I don't know if there's a way to click them in faster. Probably not. And then how do you get them out? Do you just click one each time or let's see. Oh my. I feel like it shouldn't be stuck in there, but they're definitely stuck in there. Uh oh. That's not good. How do you retrieve your item then? Heck, I don't know if that's a bug or I'm doing something wrong here. But you can get it all back by breaking it anyway, so it's not the world's worst thing. So let's do, I don't know, let's get uh, 16 of these. Oh, these are the ones that I can do in my inventory anyways, dirt, but uh, let's do 32 then. So usually it's annoying because uh, th this part you can have done these in your inventory, of course. I kind of derped up there, but... Uh, Oh, there you go. So it looks like it has a faster chance of doing it. And you get EXP for crafting them, so that's cool. So uh, let's go ahead and I guess we just make a stone here. There you go. I didn't realize you get EXP for this. Not like we're ready for crafting and all that yet, but uh, cool. And then, of course, we go ahead and light them. So lighting them is easy as just... Right clicking as fast as you can really here. There you go. And then we can put them back down on here. So clearly, I mean, now uh, you can see how impressive this is to our uh, current little fight. Oh, here we go. We didn't get enough wood though. Do I have more wood or no, oddly enough? So we can go and grab some wood here and there you go. There you go. So all you do is just hold the right click and there they go. So besides me getting EXP, this makes crafting a thousand times easier and I can just hold right click and make things in uh, large quantities. So man, like once I get a crafting table, like a regular vanilla crafting table, it's going to be like, whoa, look at this godly item. And there you go. Oops. So I don't know how to remove them from this. I don't know if this is, I don't think this is affecting it. Oh, that's what it is. The shield was affecting it. Okay. Now we know. And that lets you take multiples out too, it looks like. So, okay. Yeah. The whole stack. Okay. So it was the shield that was affecting my ability to do that. Awesome. Makes me feel better when it's like, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> okay. So just hit F7 quickly. I thought, hey, I'll go around, place a couple. No, we don't have floating torches. Those look ugly. I'll go and place a couple more torches around. These definitely uh, help a lot, you know, just make things look a little. Well, it makes it a little brighter, of course, but I think it also makes things safer, to be honest. I think that's. That's a prime thing here, so. There you go. We just want to cut down mob salons all over, overall if we can. Um, and then that way we don't have to worry about them as much. This uh, light over there, not as much, unfortunately. Can that work? No. You have to sit there. You're the best one we got for there. And then I'll just put this one here. Okay, whatever. Wasn't like it was hard to make these at this point anyway, so. 
I shouldn't be going too crazy. It's like, yeah, if it, it is what it is, right? So. But this will help reduce uh, the spawns and stuff like that over time. So less creepers blowing up, things like that. This is how I usually, uh, honestly, decorate my entire plot. So I kind of go crazy and do it this style. And just get as much light as I can around. There you go. Can't say no to that, right? We'll keep a couple for ourselves for in our base if we need them. But uh, I would say we, we've done a wonderful job there. Awesome. Okay, so our base, I don't know if it's what happens, if it's rain or something, but I feel like I break a lot of stuff, but then it comes back. So I'm wondering if there is some kind of mechanic that just keeps replenishing all the greens up top. I cut down trees, they grow back. So uh, I guess there's some auto planting, but I look around, I don't see any sample saplings at the time when it happens. So I don't know if there's just something else that causes it. Uh, but I swear, uh, I'm you know I'm not going crazy. <laughs> Anyways, this is almost broken, so let's go ahead and repair this. I uh, just need some cobblestone. One, two, three. And I think it's also uh, more of an efficient table. Like, I, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think it's like less hits, less everything, you know. It's just a lot more efficient overall. Horsetail, I don't know what that is. Advanced alchemy. Oh, God. Something we're not really ready for. Uh, anyways, uh, I, might have, I might have picked that up. It might be a plant. I'm thinking it's a plant, uh, and I probably picked it up. So let's put you over here, you over here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to look into or attempt to uh, go into some other things because we haven't been touching any of these for a very long time. So there's the farm. Basically, I'm still looking for an NPC. Um, when that happens, I'm probably going to do it, just do it without you guys seeing it just because I'll probably have to run around and just find a hut in the middle of nowhere and be like, Ta-da! You know, like, it's not a big deal. We'll see. If I get there and I think, eh, we'll just walk back together, we'll see. But it's, you know, a whole episode on that isn't really, really the best use of our time. So we got a strainer. You can make these strainers. Now, I've done this before. Uh, sticks and a dense twine, I guess. Now, this is a survival strainer. Uh, is that the one they want us to make? We're going to make the one they want us to make. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Each strainer has a different type. Make sure you check uh, them out. You'll need to craft a strainer base and a dense. Okay, so once the dense one. So here's the strainer base. That may, requires a hopper, which we haven't even touched hoppers yet. So I, I guess it's time for us to do that. I made a couple of knives here. They say they can't be repaired, but uh, little they know... You can do it this way so you can repair them that way i mean that's a waste but uh i had one from before right so if these can't be repaired they're garbage uh so at that point take your old one like this put it up here so this has 280 durability this has one durability but when you repair it it has 297 durability so you get a little bit of extra durability back on that so definitely worth doing that and then we're gonna finally for once uh try out this uh bark stuff Bark's got bite. Here we go. Do we want to do it with a wood that we don't normally use? Or, hmm, uh, we'll just do. I honestly don't know how this works. Oh, there we go. You have to hold shift. I wasn't sure if it was shield related. Okay. The poor tree. I wonder if the bark grows back. I mean, usually when you damage bark, yeah, it can go grow back, but not the same ever again. But we'll see over time if the bark will come back. But oh my god, the poor tree. It's a barkless tree. Actually, I have a better question. Um, we'll do it on a smaller one so I can uh, take it down. But uh, my other question is, what what happens if you take down the wood? You know, like the tree itself. So let's try here. Poor tree. Okay, so we did that. What happens if we cut down the tree now? Oh my god, there's barkless wood. Oh, the poor tree. What have I done to you? Let's 
So that's all it is. I wonder if it has its own... It does have its own recipes. I mean, you can use them for other replacements, but... I wonder if it does have its own. Huh. That That is pretty cool, to be honest. I was thinking, oh, they wouldn't have done that, right? <laughs> Buddy, you're wrong. They thought of everything. Okay, we're going to go back into our little hobbit hole here. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. We have bark finally. So that'll, that can make our... Our little strainer there. You need a cobweb, which is a bunch of strings. So that's not hard either. Uh, talking about string uh, or wood, uh, we don't actually have a bunch of wood right now, so we're gonna have to deal with that. I wonder if there's a. I mean, there is a chopping thing, but I don't think uh, it let. There's an MK2. No, basically it's just the horsepower version. Uh, oh, I didn't know you can get two with a piece of flint. Oh, there's a water-powered one too. Basically, it's just a horse-powered one, which we're not quite ready for, but uh, it's not hard. Uh, it requires this leather strip, which is leather working, which is we're gonna get into that, of course. But uh, for now, we're just gonna go ahead and do it this way. So, uh, boom, boom, boom. Uh, let's see. Do my good. Just wanted to get uh, my fingers in the so we're not wasting as much time. Actually, I have an idea. Okay, so... I wonder if you get more out of these, or... I just thought I'll, I'll, I'll do these just to get rid of them anyways, but, uh... Interesting. Oh. Okay. I think we're good. No extra stacks of weird stuff? No, okay. Good. Uh, so let's go ahead and build the uh, strainer, which of course requires the hopper. Uh, let's just make sure, because I know we have a hopper on our list. Is it just, okay, you have a normal hopper, and then you have this uh, this other hopper, which it looks like we use a special hopper. Ah, there it is. So it just looks like uh, wood and a chest, and a chest was made out of wood and a rock in the center. Okay, so... Uh, let's do this one and then boom, 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 boom. And then we hammer that punk down. Okay. And then, uh, we're going to go ahead and, okay. So we're going to put the wood just like this, like a normal, I don't know if I kept saying strainer or hopper, but I meant hopper we're making right now, but, uh, there you go. Oh yeah, and then uh, we're gonna make this strainer, which is, oh, the cobweb, yes. That was the uh, interesting part of this. This is actually why we uh, went to town on that stuff. Okay, so cobweb, simple. You just put your sticks on the corners, and then we have to get our cobweb, of course, which is over here, or no, sorry, string, which now we know is a very easy, there you go, uh, thing to get. Boom, 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 and oh, beautiful cobweb. And then we finish this off with putting you there, and then we put our bark here, and then I don't know if this was just it. Oh, look at that. I actually paid attention. You know, I, I have the habit of not retaining it right away, so it's like I do it over and over and over like a noob. Uh, ooh, look at a bed, finally. Oh, that would be awesome. That means our traveling and exploration would be wicked. What? They got even another a hopper that moves items and keeps blocks above it hot. <laughs> what? A flame-grilled hopper, basically. Ace of Melter Base. You don't have liquid fuel, so try solid ones. Crafty heater. Yeah, sorry, blah, blah, blah. Wow. Okay, that's a whole new thing uh so the leads okay so uh awesome and of course we're making the strainer today so we're gonna we're gonna keep going here uh so here's the strainer base which uh we're gonna have to make another uh thing here oh and it looks like we're running out of wood okay so let's go ahead and make some more wood here so is that five six 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 and two sorry i'm just trying to do this in a 
Now, I wonder if you can set the hopper to actually uh, automatically uh, put it here kind of for you. But then it might j bounce into the hopper too, so it causes other messes. But uh, I don't really need the automation right this minute anyways. That's just more like a wonder. It was cut from a lazy person. Uh, let's see here. We got that, and we got the rocks. There you go. And then we're going to bash those down. Awesome. And then, uh, so we have that. Okay. So as far as I know, those are regular planks there. And then we got our thing and thing. Okay. And so, oh, crap. There it is. We put you there, and then we put you here, and then we put you guys over here. Awesome. So there's our strainer base. Very simple. Uh, there, I don't know if there's really generates items while in water requires a strainer. I don't think there really is anything big to know about it, but uh, we'll leave it. So string basically. Awesome. So let's go ahead and take our strain. String. St strainer stringer. There you go. And now this was the survivalist one. Interesting. So I guess we might as well make both of them now. Okay, and then we get rid of you, and there we go. Awesome. And there we go. So this is uh, for our guy, and we put this in here. And it'll collect. You could put it on the chest to do automation, but I'm pretty sure... Uh, I don't want to get this too close to any kind of fire, fire, but I'm actually pretty sure, yeah, it has a storage. A ridiculous size storage, actually. Uh, you can't use it to put stuff into it. Maybe you could force it into a hopper from a hopper, but I don't even think it works that way. Uh, but it has a really big storage anyways for what we're going to use it for. So uh, I can't complain too much about that, can I? And there is... Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, because I did that there. Okay, run. Where are you, bad spider? Oh, come on. I hear you're whining around here and you're not even around here. I wonder if it got stuck in the hole where it's not supposed to be. Must be underground or something. That's another thing too, right? The more you uh, cover your light, the less places they spawn. So they might spawn, say, in a cave under your base. And then they become freaking annoying. Uh, by the way, we have this on here, I think. You can do this. This is something I don't normally do. But this would probably clean up some of this messy-ass grass everywhere too. Uh, so holy crap, my base is uh, getting a nice... Uh... So let's go ahead and do this. Ah, yes, that does work. I was hoping it would. So we can go ahead and uh, I'm not sure how far I would do this for, but uh, you can easily go ahead and uh, there you go. Let's put a torch here. But you can easily go ahead and make yourself a pathway to wherever. Uh, probably is going to use a little bit of durability right now just because we're in the young stage of, of life. But uh, worth uh, going ahead and placing here. Was that enough? Oh, that's not enough for over here. Oh, we're, we haven't even lit up this area anyways. Not a big deal. But uh, yeah, so you can make a path to wherever. And that, that kind of makes it nice because then your path, you can you know take it to the river or wherever, right? Just makes it pretty. And I think you actually move faster on paths, to be honest, so. You probably don't want to break things with the shovel. Oh, okay, that was interesting. Let's go and put that down. There you go. Don't know what happened there, but uh, okay. So we'll go ahead and let's actually bring this down here now. I want to clean it up so it's nice. That goes down, right? But uh, there you go. Might as well make a you know somewhat nicer base. I mean, this is a long pack, right? So might as well get ourselves ready for the future in a sense. There you go. This is actually cute. I like it. There you go. Awesome. 
Awesome. Oh, yeah, you definitely move a bit faster. I can feel it. Oh, yeah, because you're... Um, in the Minecraft, your aspect slightly changes when you uh, move faster, right? And you can see it moving faster, so... Uh, or changing the aspect. So we're going to put this... You know what? Screw it. I'll put it way down here just for fun. I don't think you need to put it down there, but uh, there you go. So this is your uh, strainer, and over time, it takes a while, but over time it will collect stuff. Now this one collects small, blah, 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 requires a strainer base, press for shift, okay. I don't know if this one requires bait. I know some of them require bait, but it might it might actually require bait, I don't know. Can I, yeah. It does have the bait slot, so I'm not sure if I need the bait, or if the bait, yeah, let's see here. Oh, this one collects things like a shark tooth, ink sack, blah, blah, blah. So I don't think you need bait on this one. And to be honest, now I think about it, I don't even think this is the proper way to do it. I think the strainer needs flowing water. <laughs> I don't think this is the way to do it at all, now I think about it. So we'll give it a second and we'll just uh, dump down here. Oh, no, it's working. Okay, never mind, we're wrong. Just needs to area water. I wasn't sure if I needed flowing water to go into it. So I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm doing it right. And for now, we'll just put this here. We'll hit P key. Oh, I guess you can't do it there because that's the thing. There you go. We'll put P there, and that way it's there and waiting for our future. And uh, let's get rid of any random crap that I don't want out of my inventory, like these flowers. There's too many junky stuff. Oh, this stuff you can't get rid of, so that sucks. We already have spots for uh, those anyways, okay. And then uh, we'll go ahead and just get rid of these. If we find the right one, so this one goes there, this one goes here, and this one goes there. Oh, who's badass? Okay. What seeds are these? A rush seed. Rushmore? There you go. Awesome. Okay, so we did really good there. So, now we have the leather stuff we should work on. Uh, we've talked about this. We've never even bothered touching it yet, unfortunately. Oh. Okay. I like how it has a you know a different look on it when it's full too. <laughs> a lot of uh, you know mods. You know they don't put so much detail, but these guys are craziest. Primal everything. Uh, okay, so, oh, it holds an entire one bucket of water. Okay, I didn't realize it would hold a whole bucket. Wait, can I, uh, place this down then? No. Uh, unless it's the shield, but I don't think so. Okay, so we got that, and then, uh, this is for leather, right? So let's go leather. Now, there was a wet leather, um... There was this leather, but then you had to make your wet stuff, which is, oh, wet, wet tanned hide. There you go. So you had to make a wet tan hide, which is that, and a dry hide, which is a drying rack. So you had to dry it. Oh, and then you had a salted hide, which you had to make through salt, a raw hide. And a raw hide is made from... Your knife and, oh, the different animals. Wow, some of these hold a lot. So most of the stuff we got, like a sheep has three hide on it. Wow. So let's grab the sheep hide here. And uh, we'll grab three for now. And so if you take a knife to that, there you go. You got uh, nine hide from three. And then you have to go through some processes on that. So you got to do salted hide first. So salt and the fluid. So where is that salt of ours? Uh, here it is. Oh. Now this might only, we'll, we'll see, but I have a feeling this isn't going to do much here. Oh crap. I wanted to see the salted hide. Okay, salt uh, there and the water here. How much uh, water is it going to take? Oh. I was wondering if that was the case. So you have to basically do this back and forth, back and forth like a million times. Now I saw a container. I don't know what that does. I don't know if that lets me do this a little better, but uh, basically I think you do this in the water. Uh, so how do we want to do this? Because we need to do it in a way, maybe it doesn't matter how you do it. 
Let's see. Uh, let's try this. I don't know if this will work, my friends, but uh, boom, boom, boom. No, you have to have the right order. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you have to have the right order. Oh, this is the salted one. Wow, we're really failing. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Interesting mechanic, though, at least. Uh, they have a system. Oh, look at that. They don't even stack. Uh, where things go back in your inventory when you close it. Usually your items go everywhere. It makes a hell of a mess. It's annoying. Nope. You just It goes back in your inventory. Okay. So I might make this container uh, off camera just to play around with it. The barrel. The barrel isn't anything special. Uh, it's just this. So it's some wood. Actually, I could probably make that quickly now if we go to it right now. Uh, we're kind of getting a little over the episode here time. But uh, for you guys, let's do this. Okay, and then it's just boom, 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 and then boom, and then there you go. And I don't know what this will do for us, so we're going to place it down. I'm hoping you just fill it up with water and it stays there, or maybe if you have like two buckets of water, it's infinite. I really don't know, to be honest. I think at this point, I'm really just making up stuff, just hoping. <laughs> Or you have to carry it back and forth too, right? Oh man, yeah, yeah. I think that's all it is. I think it's not unlimited water. I think the idea is it just lets you store a bunch of water there. Now you might be able to move the entire barrel. I don't know about that. Because there was that mod where you can shift and move containers and stuff. I forgot about that. So, Oh, you're really being annoying. There you go. Let's see. Uh, so this is, yeah, there it is. Can I pick you up? No, shield affecting pickup. <gasps> okay, here we go. That's why. Okay, so there's that mod. I don't know what it's called. It's something new to me. But it lets you pick up some animals and things like that. But it'll also let you pick this up. So you can go like this now. There you go. And bring that to your base. And then we're going to slowly run for our life depends on it back into our base and then uh let's get the dirt here there you go awesome so there you go there was a, a way to work with that uh but i don't think you can craft with it or anything like that there's oh it makes a cool noise uh, but you can't put your like your hide in there or anything like that uh, i don't think there's anything like that to be honest uh, and then there was the um, drying rack, which is nothing new. Uh, what mod is that? Oh, it is Tinker's Construct. I was wondering if it was going to be Tinker's Construct or if it ended up being a different mod. So, But it is Tinker's. Okay, and we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll go and put these here. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And here we go. And we got our drying racks. And uh, don't put your drying racks there because that'll get annoying. Mainly because uh, you get the one guys. But there you go. You can put these in your drying racks. And there you go. Those will dry. I'm pretty sure those had to go in the drying rack. Uh, salted. Yeah, they go in the drying rack. Then you get a dry hide. And then what you do is you craft it with ground resin which is literally just taking uh, bark and grinding it. So I'll do that off camera. And then a fluid bladder again and you get wet tan hide and then you put on a drying rack all over again to make that. So two minutes on there and two minutes on there. So I'll probably make more drying racks and then start processing this and just doing the leather off camera and just getting a bunch uh, pre-made. But uh, yeah, that was a big accomplishment today. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.